Welcome to our Excel tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to find the first and last non-blank cells in a row or column. This is a great skill for managing and analyzing your data effectively. Let's start with finding the first non-blank cell in a given range. Imagine you have a list of data in cells A1, A5, and you want to identify the first cell that contains a value. You can use a formula that combines the index and match functions to find the first non-blank cell. Enter this formula into a blank cell. Equals index. A1. A5. Match. True. Index. A1. A5 less than greater than. 0. 0. Alternatively, you can use an array formula with the index, match, and is blank functions. Type this formula into a blank cell. Equals index. A1. A5, match, false, is blank. A1, A5, 0. And press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter. Now, if you want to find the last non-blank cell in a row or column, you can use the lookup function. Enter the following formula into a blank cell to find the last non-blank cell in the range A1, A5. Equals lookup, 2, 1, A1. A5 less than greater than A1, A5. The lookup function is powerful for this task because it searches for a value in a vector or array and returns the corresponding value from another vector. To recap, we've used the index function to return a value based on the row and column number, the match function to find the position of an item, and the is blank function to check for blank cells. That's it. You've now learned how to find the first and last non blank cells in a row or column in Excel. These techniques will help you streamline your data analysis and make your work more efficient. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to try these functions with your own Excel data. For more Excel tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to our channel.